Speaking of the sky, the next company is called Stardots, and we will be listening to Daniel Petrini, the CEO. And Stardots is a deep tech company that brings together engineers and mathematics uh, with neurologists and also with life science developers to, preview, to provide neurology patients with a better outlook. Uh, so please join us here, Daniel. Thank you. Can you hear me? All right, perfect. A few weeks ago, I asked an acquaintance with Parkinson's disease, how are you? And her answer is a good background on why I'm here. She, let's call her Anna, and she has had Parkinson's for over 20 years, and it has severely affected her everyday life. Anna's uh, life it changes a lot during a day or during a week, from mild, mild to severe symptoms and medication side effects, and sometimes she becomes immobile and freezes. Throughout Anna's home, there's a water glasses everywhere in case she freezes and needs to take her medicine. <clears throat> and it's not just affected uh, her mobility, it's also affected her cognitive state. She cries a lot over small things. She, uh, she becomes narrow-minded and gets closed in thought loops. And simple tasks can become daunting and stressful and lead to exhaustion. And Visit to a friend becomes too much to handle. Too little sleep becomes catastrophic. Di um, wrong di diet can lead to severe symptoms and pain through many days. Do not take what the doctor says as the truth, she said. In the onset of her disease, she got too much, much medication and too seldom. She actually got worse from the treatment. And uh, she eventually began adjusting the treatment herself without the doctors knowing it. Even worse, all that medication makes it harder for her to get good treatment today. The therapeutic window is very narrow right now. Anna sees a neurologist one to two times per year, and where she gets an ocular subjective assessment of her symptoms and perhaps treatment optimization. The rest of the time, she's left with a disease on her own. <clears throat> Anna knows I'm here today, and she wanted me to tell you her story. And uh, what if we could provide Anna with good measures of how the treatment exactly works in her right now? What if the doctors could get better tools and clues on the progress of the disease, and perhaps even objective treatment optimization. Would Anna's life be better yesterday? Could Anna's and other people suffering from Parkinson be better today? My name is Dan Petrini, and I'm from Starlots, and this is exactly what we're aiming for. Parkinson's care is a complex disease without a cure. More precise medication is needed as the disease progresses. There is no biomarkers, no blood samples to determine how much Parkinson you have right now. Symptoms are assessed, they're not modeled or objectively quantified, which leads to that the care is objective, unequal and very costly, and depends on clinic, doctor, and perhaps country. What we are developing is a solution that can provide quality of life, improve quality of life for millions of Parkinson patients worldwide and sharply reduce the cost associated with a horrible disease. And we plan to do that with the pharma industry to get the maximum synergy effects. Actually, it was Pfizer's CEO that said, in the future, every pharma product will have a digital component. And we call our digital health platform for Unliva. It's a digital health platform for equal and cost-effective Parkinson's care. And the mathematics and algorithms are based on many years of research at Uppsala University and clinical validation at Uppsala University Hospital. It consists of mainly two things. One is a digital marker, is 
aim to get the blood sample, how much Parkinson do you have right now? It could be, for example, the dyskinesia part, how much tremor, involuntary shaking, to get objective values of that. It could be the eye tracker to see how well you can follow an object, or it can be the gait, the way your person walks. Given that we have those markers, we're now in the position of optimizing the treatment. It could be microdosage, micro tablets, it could be pumps, medicine, and it can be deep brain stimulation. And this platform, which you can see one of the apps, the render of the apps here right now, is ready for EU and US launch next year. The market potential for this platform is great. There are well over 10 million patients worldwide that's already been diagnosed with Parkinson's. The total market is 250 billion US dollars, and we aim for 10 plus billion US dollars. And the total cost of Parkinson's care is 25 and 50 billion US dollars in the EU, US respectively. Roughly half of that is direct treatment costs, and the other half is indirect costs. And the market is expected to grow since we're getting older. Our current investors are VNV Global, Uppsala University Invest, Stockholm's University Holding, Linear Capital, and of course the founders and team. And we plan to raise three to four million euros this fall. We have a strong management team and board consisting of world-class scientists, proven business developers and entrepreneurs, IT programmers, and expert life science specialists. And that was all from me. Well, thank you very much, Daniel. Thank you. Um, just to clarify, uh, the app mm. uh, is is is, uh, is it connected also to the, the the supervising doctor that is supervising your yes, care? Yes, exactly. So the doctor can be more in tune via the app yeah. in in between the visits. Exactly. Um, That's what we're aiming for. So they can provide it in home. Mm. Mm. Excellent. Excellent. Just to, I wasn't quite sure that I got that right. Um, you were recently, fairly recently, granted a grant. Mm. Please tell us about this. Yes, a MedTech Vinova grant for the, the app, the core functionality of the app that we plan to expand, Hyperkinesia. And it's done with um, Akademiska Sjukhuset and Sargenska in Gothenburg. So t two of the leading Parkinson experts in Sweden. And what does this grant mean to start out? Of course, it means money, but also it means that we can perform clinical trials, that we connect to the clinics and we can get their feedback for from the patients and end users. Mm -hmm. So how many patients are involved in, in sort of in, in the process of developing the, 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 the app now? 40 to 100 right now, but of course we plan to increase that as the clinical trials advances. Mm -hmm. And where would you be in five years? Well, we'll be, be everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, we're targeting US and EU first. And um, yeah, we hope to to be able to supply every Parkinson patient with this platform in the near future. Mm -hmm. Could it be that you develop for other neurological diseases too? Exactly. But so that's our long-term goal. That's your long-term term goal. To use the same core functionality, same mathematics, but for example for Alzheimer's and ALS and what else mm -hmm. not. Excellent. Well, best of luck and thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.